it is Friday, August 23rd, and we are 38 and a half weeks. But anyways, I thought I would hop on. So I started my maternity leave on Monday and I got so much stuff done. Like just try to knock everything that I could out. Um, today's video is just gonna be preparing for baby. So there's gonna be just some nesting things and then I'm gonna try to do some meal preps. I don't have everything for my meal preps, but what I do have, I'm gonna use, and then I just have to run to Costco this weekend. Hopefully baby holds on. Until next week, I will be totally ready next week, but I do have to say this is the most prepared I've ever been with any baby. Like, maybe Avery, I was pretty prepared too, because it was my first and I didn't know what to do or expect, so I was like trying to get everything done. But with this one, it's more of like, prepared with my nursing station, my snacks to go for, you know, when I'm just wanting to like kind of lay in bed or if I get a little hungry at night um, while I'm nursing, that kind of thing. I have my hospital bag packed. I have snacks for the hospital. I have just everything done. So that's what's going to be in this video. And then some meal preps like I said I don't know if I'll put them all in here but I think we're gonna start off with making some ice pops because we are all out of ice pops so um we did a tiktok on it when me and Elijah were making ice pops throughout the summer uh the boys just love them <laughs> the boys just love them and it's me and Elijah home Kai did start kindergarten I don't know if I mentioned that so he is such a young kindergartner, but we'll talk more about that in just a second. Let me get these ice pops started. Right now I'm gonna do apple juice and orange juice with the berries. Um, I forgot to buy just strawberries to do strawberry lemonade popsicles. So this is just gonna be mixed berry ones. And I thought I'd try it with the orange juice this time too. So I've done smoothies with orange juice and they've been fine. <laughs> Here. Okay, you're gonna dump that. We'll dump the whole bag, okay? Because we're just gonna make a lot. And then I have another bag if we need. So that's just the mixed berry. All right. <laughs> All right, Elijah said he wants to try apple juice first, right? So we'll pour some apple juice in there. So we're just gonna let that sit for a minute because for me to pour them into the like little ice pop baggies. <laughs> It needs to be liquidy and it's too thick to pour in right now. But anyways, I bought some cocoa powder. I'm gonna make my own brownie mix and I have this little jar to put it in. So we'll um, label it brownie mix and then make that so we have that ready to go because I just feel like I'm gonna want sweets. I bought some, these were uh, are gonna be stocked up in my nursing carts. Okay, go ahead, you're gonna pour them in. All in the mixing bowl. All of them, okay? And then we'll use a whisk to whisk it up. All of it. <laughs> it got stuck in there. There we go. That one's heavy, huh? That's all sugar. Easy to mix up. It's easy to mix up, yeah. So we're gonna mix it up good and then we're gonna put it in our container and just store it till we're ready to make brownies. Sound good? Okay. All right, and then I'll actually post the actual rest, the whole recipe in the description too for um, when you have to add all your wet ingredients. But I also bought one of these things to help me so it doesn't fall out when we're pouring it in. I thought it was so cool. Hopefully this should be big enough, we'll see. Okay, let's pour it in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Still a little sketchy, but definitely much better than just trying to get it in there. We have a little bit of spillage, but we're doing pretty good. <laughs> we're doing pretty good, wouldn't you say, Elijah? Huh? We're doing pretty good? Yeah. And I'm just starting with like the easiest of things because then it makes me feel like I've gotten a lot accomplished and it makes me feel better about going yeah, on and moving on to the hard things because yeah. then I've checked more off my list as I went. Oh, 
this is what we have. So I'm gonna actually double the recipe. Looks like it's the right consistency for us to pour these in. I just, um, I have our bags and then I have these little like funnel things and it just helps it pour it in easier. Good. And then I kind of just try to eyeball it cause you don't want to overfill them. Like I think we just did. So what I do is, there we go. There we go. Just like so, and we'll fill these up. Also one important thing I will say is clean as you go because it becomes very overwhelming very quickly so i'm just trying to clean everything up as i go and hope that helps with just feeling the overwhelming yes. so i finished almost two things we made another batch of popsicles because as of right now i just rinsed these off but this is what we're at for the first batch and this one we added banana and switched to orange juice so these ones might be a little sweeter um, and I'm not going to label them, I don't think, because they're already... Well, I guess I could label these, but I'll have to label them before I put them in. Oh. We'll see if I have time for that. Next thing is our breakfast burritos. So super easy for our breakfast burritos. I'm just doing hash browns, the um, Jimmy Dean sausage. I love to get the sage flavor. It's just a... I love the flavor of that one. They didn't have it at Sam's. They only have this one. So I stuck with this one. Those are for something else. We got our eggs, and then um, I love to use these tortillas for it. So what I'll do is start heating these up as I'm cooking all of this together. And then I'll put only some eggs. I'll leave some burritos without eggs for Elijah, because he cannot have eggs. So anyways, like I was saying earlier, Kai started um, kindergarten. He does not turn five until um, toward the end of September, so he's one of the younger kindergartners, but they moved our start date in Colorado to now, um, they have to turn five before October 1st, so I was going back and forth if I wanted to or not. He made the final decision and said, yes, mom, I'm ready. Is he ready? Yes, he's doing amazing. The mornings have been so hard, though, but that's to be expected. It's a long day for kindergartners, so... It is what it is in that aspect, but he is doing so good and just like we get good reports and everything for him So I'm so proud of him and this is about just I just throw it on for a few seconds Because um, they're gonna go Get stuffed and then they'll go in the microwave when we're ready to Also, I've never made a batch of burritos this big. So I usually only use one bag of um, hash browns the smaller bag of the ready to cook tortillas, I just buy them from either Walmart or King Supers, and then one pound of the chop or the sausage. So I'm kind of eyeballing to see how many tortillas and stuff I need. I might need more. I also though have the cheese we have to shred still to add that to the burritos. I just like my ingredients to, I'll mix the sausage with the potatoes, but I like my ingredients to cool down before I add the cheese. And then the cheese will melt when we heat it up in the microwave or the toaster. All right, got a little assembly line. So I just mixed everything all together. Um, it doesn't look the most appetizing, but I promise you they are so good. So we'll have a, we'll grab our tortilla. I'm gonna move this over here and then a cheese and then wrap them. Let us sit for a minute because nonstop for two hours I've been like just getting things done and I'm starting to feel it. So I'm gonna do these and then I think I'm gonna set my timer on my phone and just take like an hour to relax and then come back and finish it up i want to do um i want to cut up peppers and onions and then just put them in a ziploc baggie to do like a, a philly cheesesteak one night and then do chicken fajitas another night i did want to do um chicken taquitos and things like that i just don't think i'm going to have the energy or the time to do it so those are on hold for right now and then one more thing I'm gonna do actually too is Uncrustables. So, I have about another two more hours in the kitchen, but I feel like, I feel good that I've gotten things done, just not as much as I like, but it comes with the territory. And after everything's said and done, it comes out like this. And then when we're ready to heat them, we just unwrap them from the plastic. The plastic just helps them really hold their shape. If I wrap it right, like this one I did not, but I also had the little bowl here because this has no eggs and it's not going to have cheese in the burritos for Elijah. Mom. Cutting the peppers now 
and onions. I'm just gonna freeze those for the two meals that I wanna make them for. But that way at least that's done. Um, and then I'll just put them by the chicken and the steak to make those. And then all I would have to buy is cheese and bread. And it's an easy meal to just make quickly. Um, even if I don't use it for like a postpartum meal, um, like easiness of the quickness of that, it would be good just for soccer too. So that's what all this stuff is for. Just all of it because soccer season started and it is busy, busy. We are just always on the go. So I'm trying to do like quick and easy. What's it? Okay, I'm taking a quick break from meal prepping. I have to just do... The only thing I really had on my list that I wanted to get done was the Uncrustables. Um, so if I could finish those today, it'll be a win. And I'll show you... Um, everything that I get done at the end of this video. I set my timer for an hour because I'm gonna give myself an hour to clean up and then I'll have to go get the boys from the bus and then I am gonna just relax for a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure they'll wanna go outside and play in the front so I usually sit outside with Makai and Elijah when they're playing out front and then just kick my feet up and relax for a little bit. I am tired, it is 2.40 and I am exhausted right now. I knew we'd be coming out here. Oh, oh my God, guys. <laughs> oh, I got that on camera. You took a picture. <laughs> All right, so this is what we got done today. I got more ice pops than that, but I just took some of them out. Onions, peppers, Elijah's burritos, the breakfast burritos, and then the brownie mix. Not too bad. I thought I would have gotten more done, but it's the next day. I was just so tired, I didn't want to show this. But I did my little cart. So I was going to show you guys what I put in it. And I might rearrange it depending on how it's working. We'll see. But I figured I'd show you real quick. So up here, I just have diapers that I could just grab. And I put size one out for now. Um, not too sure how big he's gonna be, but I'll grab the newborn if I need to. And then um, wipes. And down here is like all of my, all of my pumping stuff. Um, my new pump, and then some snacks, and then little um, bags. And I also am gonna have a little portable fridge in here that I could store them in overnight. And then on the bottom is just going to be extra wipes, some nursing pads, and then um, like extra little outfits that I could change him into. So a little sleeper, just a little onesie in case it's cold, new socks, and then I have like blankets. So I have a receiving blanket and then like the Muslim blankets, Muslim blankets, however you say it, and extra milk bags back there. So. This is what I'm working with so far, and we'll see how well it's gonna work. Also over here I have my nursing pillow, and this is a little like bassinet thing I have for him. Just a little pack and play, and then I'm gonna actually, I bought that lamp with the intent of like late night feedings and hoping that it wasn't gonna be too dark. I'm sorry, hoping it wasn't going to be too bright. However, it is super bright. So I'm going to switch back to my rock lamp and just use the rock lamp that's on Anthony's side now and put it over here. And then I'll return that one again. Or not again, but I'll return that one. And then, yeah, that's kind of my setup that I have right now. Everything's like here in my general corner. And I don't know. I'll let you know. I'm going to put the fridge under this little... So I'll put the fridge under here and um, kind of let you know how it's going as we go along. But there's a little corner. I feel like I should put something on the wall, the baby related. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to close out the video here. I um, hope you enjoyed it. And now we just wait for baby boy to come.